Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going over a technique called clamshell. Um, now you can use as many or as few colors as you want for this, but because uh, basically the uh, effect is the same, but um, really you want some contrasting colors to make it visually interesting. And here I'm using a yellow and a uh, lime green, and then a the dark green there is a color from uh, Mad Micas, which is actually really pretty in person. This video doesn't do it any justice, but it's a kind of a um, bluish hunter green, but it's called Snake Island, and it is very pretty. Again, I mean, really, the video doesn't do any of these colors justice, but that's it is what it is. So um, I'm checking the temperature, my, my oil straight from the burner and putting in my liquid oils to cool down the temperature. So we should be around 80-ish degrees, 80 to 90. Um, on the lower end of 80 is better just because um, of your fragrance oil. So this fragrance oil is lemongrass green tea. I get it from Wholesale Supplies Plus and it behaves beautifully in cold process soap. Um, again, as if you know the temperatures are low, you don't want um, any hot temperatures potentially speeding up your fragrance. But for this particular technique, you do want it to be very fluid the entire time because you're going to be spending some time filling your mold with it. So you don't want it to thicken up while you're doing it. So here I am adding my lye. Careful not to splash by pouring it down the spatula. When doing your mixing here, you want your trace to only be at light trace at the maximum. Here, I'm just getting it to emulsed, so the, the texture is kind of like um, whole milk, uh, maybe, maybe like 1% milk. It's very thin, but it is emulsed. And uh, the ratios that I'm using here, so white is my major color, so I'm using half the batter to do white. And then um, for the remaining three colors, I just divided the remaining half of the batter by three. So 25 divided by three was 8.3 ish ounces. So each color gets about eight ounces. And um, so yeah, just um, mixing up the white there. I really like this particular color because I, I like using mica more than I like using titanium dioxide. Even though it's using titanium dioxide in the recipe, it just has a better time not speeding up the trace. Um, this is lime green from Wholesale Supplies Plus. The time I did this before, I used a color called radioactive, but I just had a sample, so I didn't have any more of it. But the lime green is good. It looks good against the other colors as well. And then this is just yellow from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And I like this color as well. It's very vibrant. So the way you set up your pouring pitcher is you take your main color and you kind of pour it down the side alongside with your um, burst of color. And now since I know that there's only eight ounces in each color, I can um, be rest assured knowing that I'm putting enough white in there. As long as I see that line in the middle stay relatively straight, um, I'm pouring equally. And you gotta take it slow with this one, which is why it's really important to have a fragrance that doesn't speed up trace. Yeah, I, <laughs> I did that. Um, so I was trying to reduce dishes here. So I'm using the yellow as a pour pitcher for my green and same, oop, same thing here. Um, just pour down the side, make sure that they're even. And um, I know I'm using enough white or, or not too much white based on how um, that center line kind of ends up at the end. So now I'm just using my mixing pitcher to mix up the rest of my um, color. And this is that snake island that is so pretty. And then I'm using my lime mixing pitcher to do to make my pouring picture for that. So now that I have um, my other two colors poured, I can also be rest assured that I can use the rest of the white. Um, there, I felt like there was a little bit too much white for this. So I kind of, you know, adjust the other two with a little bit more. And uh, here's all three here. So what I'm doing on top of my pouring pitchers, and this is like a cool little alternative you can do with any technique that you have a pouring pitcher, 
and I do this with wood grain as well. As I put the, the uh, oil swirl on top and uh, as it pours it'll kind of mix in uh, pretty nicely and you'll see that here in just a second. Um, but with a clamshell you want to kind of jiggle your pitcher to kind of create this um, clamshell effect like what you would see on the beach. And all I'm doing is alternating colors and you can see the gold in there kind of um, it, it kind of marks the center between the, the white and the color. Uh, I was I didn't really have any set pattern that I was doing this at first um, but I since the Snake Island is so vibrant I wanted to make sure that it kind of stood out among the others so I would alternate um, Snake Island on one side then the lime then the yellow and then the Snake Island on the other side then the lime and the yellow so um, that way it would um, just alternate and now the mold that I'm using here is really skinny so I think you know with the fluidity of my batter and the skinniness of this mold I probably could have gotten away with doing it along the side um, the long sides of the mold um, the technique that I read about was did it at the base like this like what I'm doing here so I'm just repeating that but when I made this recipe before I did it in a different mold that was shorter so um, yeah I'm not really sure uh, I might try this again to, um, I don't know, try it a different way and see. But basically the gist of it is, is you want to get these little kind of clamshell, it's like mod circles, like if you're just a pour, but you kind of jiggle it so that you get that like very neat little defined area there. So I had a lot of extra, well not a lot, but I had enough extra that I didn't want to pour it in like a clamshell because it it really wouldn't work right or there wasn't enough and when you're scraping and scraping you're gonna muddle up the color so I just um, poured a very little bit on top don't want to break the surface you just want to make sure that it gets right on top so um, in some cases I was just pouring down the wall or <clears throat> pouring down my um, spatula to make sure it didn't break the surface and uh, I didn't have enough to cover the entire surface between all three um, but I, I just swirl it anyway and so it doesn't really matter Okay, with a skewer, I'm using the blunt end to very gently just swirl the top here. I don't want to break through the layers. I'm just swirling the top. And this is um, okay if you're cutting it um, the regular way, just um, based on the, uh, the length of the mold. And uh, I used the same method to heat this in my little makeshift oven. And um, here it was the next day. It, um, I had a little trouble with this because the, the mold is so narrow, but it was popping out really nice. See, nice clean lines and everything. Um, the mold or the, the log is 12 inches across, a little over two inches wide and three inches high. And I, I wanted to cut these a little more than an inch. So I did about an inch and a quarter because um, normally I have my width be two and a half and my, my height be three and a half, but, um, I'm compensating for just increasing the width here. Um, and then when I cut this, I, I cut this like I normally do, or like I had in the past with the tea and biscuits, but my pattern didn't really turn out clamshell and I don't know why. Um, so I'm really curious. I mean, you can kind of see it there. But I'm really curious about um, why I did it wrong and maybe if I cut it like wood grain to see if it would um, change things but it looks more like a tiger stripe again um, it's still cool and the colors are still neat but um, it didn't really turn out like clamshell I had a bar or two that did have the clamshell in it but really for the most part no so here's the finished result I think it looks pretty cool I, I like the colors together 
the smell is really nice. Um, this was a special request, so hopefully she's okay with this. Um, I think she was more about the formula and the fragrance than anything. So, um, but that's it. So if you liked this video, just go ahead and leave a comment for me. Um, if you have any special requests or anything that you would like to see, just let me know. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.